Hi, I'm Serena, the culinary content specialist at Bob's Red Mill, and today we are making gluten-free cinnamon rolls. Let's get to baking. We're gonna start off with our yeast mixture. We are gonna feed it a little bit of sugar and we are gonna put it in some warm water. You wanna make sure that it's not too hot because if it gets too hot, then it's gonna kill your yeast and that's definitely not what you want. Here, we're gonna mix this together and then we're gonna set it aside and let it rise. This will take about five minutes, which is perfect because in the meantime, we will mix together our dry ingredients. So now we're gonna measure our flour and doing this, we are going to measure it by weight, not volume. Whenever you use a, a measuring cup and scoop it out, you're ultimately gonna end up getting a different amount every time you scoop, which is very frustrating. And it will change how the dough reacts with the amount of liquid that you have within the recipe. You can either mix flours, which I love using brown rice flour and millet flour. See, I already got a little extra, so I'm gonna take that out. Um, the pre-mixed flour that I'm using today, though, is our gluten-free all-purpose flour, which this is important because this flour actually has more protein content in it, which you're gonna want for the yeast. Um, our one-to-one -one flour is really great for quick breads, cookies, muffins, cakes, anything like that, but this flour is gonna be the one that I highly recommend. If you are using yeast, grab this flour. I have already measured out my other ingredients, and we are going to go with xanthan gum. This is important because xanthan gum is gonna be your binder. This particular mix of flowers does not have a binder in it, and you will need that. Um, it will react much like gluten does in your gluten-full recipes. And we're gonna add some baking powder. The flowers in your gluten-free blends are gonna be a lot, a lot heavier, and this is just gonna help you get more of that fluff. So this is baking powder. And now we're gonna add some salt. And you are gonna wanna let it mix for a bit. And let's start with our eggs. Our gluten-free egg replacer works really well in this recipe. Just be mindful of what the dough should look like and then add a little more water if you need it. And so now we're gonna add our oil to this. And our yeast is nice and foamy. So I am going to go ahead and add that in as well. This you're gonna to wanna to let mix for about five minutes. I'm gonna turn it on, let it go, and then scrape it down and see where it looks good. You just wanna make sure that you don't have a bunch of dry flour at the bottom, so I'm just gonna mix it in a little bit and then turn the mixer back on and let it do its thing. You do want it to be a little wetter because it's gluten-free. Those flowers need the extra moisture in order to help it be that soft, fluffy dough. And it comes right together. Okay, this is when the fun happens. You have to have some patience, but this will work. Just stay calm. <laughs> okay, I switch over to white rice flour. Anytime I'm using a bread dough that needs to be rolled out or anything like that, I always use white rice flour. It's a very neutral flavor. You're not gonna have a lot of um, interference with other things going on um, and it absorbs into the dough really well. Don't be afraid of the rice flour. We're gonna use a lot of it. So from here, we're gonna put extra rice flour on top and then plastic wrap over that. And I'm just looking to make that rectangle shape. Okay. I'm gonna take this plastic wrap off. And I have my butter, the butter is softened. That way it just spreads a little easier. I am just gonna kind of smear it around. Okay, we are going to take our sugar you can use any kind of sugar you want. I'm actually using my fruit sweetener today. And then some cinnamon. All right, it's time to roll. And then I'm just gonna fold it over so we can cut it.
So from here, I'm gonna place these in. You're gonna wanna put them pretty tight together, but they will still rise up. Okay, I'm gonna cover these up with a towel or some plastic wrap and put it in a warm place. This is gonna take about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, depending on how cool your area is. But you do want it to double in size, so um, I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you what that looks like. I'm really excited, our rolls have risen. It's been about an hour and they are nice and puffy and they are gorgeous and ready to go in the oven. We get to make the frosting. In my bowl, I have two cups of powdered sugar. I have a couple tablespoons of butter. And I'm gonna start to mix this together. I'm gonna add in my vanilla. You never know how much milk you're gonna need to make the icing. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit in. I happen to really like my icing to be a little thicker. There we go. That was all. And you can use a mixer for this, that definitely works. I use this as part of my workout. All right. So I just put a nice dollop on top. It'll start to melt in there and I'll spread it around, but I just wanna make sure each one gets some icing. this as much as I did. If you have anything recipe wise that you want to see, let me know because I'm up for a challenge. Until next time.